The MCU only dropped one movie this year, but don't stress, it's got four more lined up for next month. So we're actually getting four Marvel flicks, one from the MCU and three from Sony's Spider-Man universe. We've already had Madam Web, and there are two more coming soon. First, we'll see Venom The Last Dance. Here, after taking down Riot and Carnage and Venom and Venom Let There Be Carnage, Eddie Brock and the Venom symbiote are coming back for one last movie. Venom The Last Dance is now set to drop on October 25th, 2024, after being pushed back twice, from July 12th and then from November 8th to this final date. After Doctor Strange's spell brought Venom into the Marvel Cinematic Universe and then sent him back, it's still up in the air which villain he'll face next. Venom 3 might link up with other characters from Sony's Spider-Man universe like Morbius or Kraven the Hunter. There's also a chance Spider-Man could make an appearance, especially since Venom has already seen him on TV in another universe. The movie that is left this year is Craven the Hunter, which is set to release on December 13th, 2024. This will be another Sony Spider-Man Universe movie, building on the world created by Venom, Let There Be Carnage, and Morbius. The new Craven the Hunter movie is set to come out on August 30th, 2024. After a few delays, it will be the first R-rated film in Sony's Spider-Man Universe, so we can expect it to showcase more intense and realistic violence compared to Sony's previous Marvel projects. After the flop of Matt Adam Webb, Sony will be hoping that Aaron Taylor Johnson's more grounded villain in Kraven the Hunter can help rebuild trust in their corner of the Marvel Universe. There's also a chance we might see the MCU Spider-Man make an appearance, but neither Sony nor Marvel Studios has confirmed anything yet. Captain America Brave New World, February 14, 2025 after two Sony movies in a row, we'll get a Marvel Cinematic Universe film early next year. Captain America Brave New World will be Anthony Mackie's first time playing Captain America on the big screen, making it a major Marvel release. The movie is set to hit theaters on February 14th after having its release date shifted from May and then July 2024. Originally called New World Order, the next Captain America film in Phase 5 is expected to feature Sam Wilson and Joaquin Tim Blake Nelson returning from The Incredible Hulk. And clashing with the new president, Thaddeus Ross. Harrison Ford now plays Ross, stepping in for the late William Hurt, and his role in Brave New World might lead to more appearances in Thunderbolts and other future projects. Story details so far suggest that Ross will ask Wilson to assemble a new Avengers team, potentially with hidden motives. Additionally, there's more to the Super Soldier storyline as Carl Lumbly's Isaiah Bradley will be exposed as a victim of a mysterious mind control scheme aimed at assassinating the president. The new trailer trailer for Captain America Brave New World has confirmed that President Ross will become the MCU's Red Hulk, finally making this long-awaited event a reality. At the 2024 San Diego Comic Con, it was also announced that Giancarlo Esposito will play Sidewinder, the leader of the Serpent Society, in the film. Additionally, the trailer revealed that Adamantium will be introduced, with the material being tied to the bodies of Celestial Thunderbolts. In a cool twist for the MCU, the Thunderbolts will bring together villains and antagonists from past Marvel Studios films for a secret mission on behalf of the US government. With no Avengers crossover film set until Phase 6, Thunderbolts is our only chance to see a major team up before Avengers Doomsday. Expect it to have a very different vibe from the classic Avengers teams in the MCU. Thunderbolts is set to release on May 2nd, 2025, after swapping its original July 25th, 2025 date with the Fantastic Four. Following a move from its previous December 2024 slot, the film is expected to shed light on why CIA director Valentina Allegra de Fontaine has been recruiting morally ambiguous characters. There are also rumors that the Sentry and the Red Hulk might appear, with the speculation about the Sentry gaining traction after the 20. 24 San Diego Comic Con revealed that Lewis Pullman's character is named Bob, potentially hinting at the Sentry's real name, Robert Reynolds. The 2024 San Diego Comic Con also provided more details on Thunderbolts, revealing that US agent appears to have a child and offering a glimpse of Yelena and Alexei reuniting after Black Widow. The also features Bucky in Congress, continuing his personal storyline from The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. Fantastic Four First Steps, July 25th, 2025. Fox tried twice to bring Marvel's first family to the big screen with adaptations in 2005 and 2015, but both were met with poor reviews. 
After Disney acquired Fox in 2019, the Fantastic Four were announced for the MCU now set to debut on July 25. This date was shifted from the original May 2nd slot, which is now reserved for Thunderbolts. The MCU's Fantastic Four are expected to become as significant as the Avengers and play a key role in the future of the MCU. The first image from the Fantastic Four first step showed that the team will be accompanied by the robot sidekick Herbie and set in the 1960s, hinting at a retro-futuristic vibe. Similar to The Incredibles, since then the cast has expanded with unconfirmed roles for John Malkovich, Paul Walter Hauser, and Natasha Lyonne. Ralph Ineson is set to play Galactus, while Julia Garner will take on the role of the Silver Surfer. At the 2024 San Diego Comic Con, the film's title was updated from the Fantastic Four to the Fantastic Four First Steps. This new title has sparked a lot of theories about the story, including that it could reference the team's long-awaited entry into the MCU or hint at the possible introduction of Reed Richards and Sue Storm's children, Franklin and Valeria. Blade, November 7th, 2025. Blade has been in the works for a while and was originally slated for Marvel Phase 5 before being moved to Phase 6. Kevin Feige announced Mahershala Ali as Blade in 2019, and Ali had a brief voice role in the Eternals post credit scene. The Ebony Blade, which appeared in Eternals, is expected to be featured in the film. However, director Bassam Tariq left the project just before filming was about to start, causing a production halt and a delay from its original November 3, 2023 release date. Tariq will remain as an executive producer. Reports have surfaced that Ali is not pleased with pre-production, with the current script reportedly being only 90 pages long and featuring just two lackluster action scenes. Michael Starbury is working on a new script, Jan Demange was set to direct, and Nick Pizzolatto joined as a writer. Mia Goth also joined the cast. Unfortunately, as of mid-2024, Demange has stepped away from the project, leaving Blade's future uncertain. Spider Bond the Spider-Verse 2025 Following the huge success of Spider Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse, there's a lot of buzz around Sony's next animated sequel, Spider Beyond the Spider-Verse. While details are still unknown, it's expected that the film will bring back the main cast and introduce even more Spider-People, with Miles Morales working to save both the multiverse and his father. Sony's animated Spider-Verse could be expanding into a major franchise, with more spin-offs and sequels planned after Beyond the Spider-Verse. As of now, the release date for Spider Beyond the Spider-Verse is uncertain, although it's likely to come out between 2024 and 2025. It was initially set for March 29, 2024, but that date has been pushed back, possibly due to strike issues and to ensure the third film wraps up the trilogy in a satisfying way. Beyond the Spider-Verse is set to conclude Miles Morales' story, potentially giving it an edge over Spider No Way Home, which wraps up Tom Holland's home trilogy in the MCU but leaves room for future adventures. The Spider-Verse trilogy stands out for being a complete story, unlike the open-ended MCU trilogy that hints at future developments. With the first film winning an Oscar for Best Animated Feature and the second film achieving impressive box office numbers, Beyond the Spider-Verse is expected to cap off the trilogy with high expectations. Although the Spider-Verse trilogy will end, the franchise itself will continue, with planned spin-offs including a Spider-Man Noir live-action series and a Spider-Woman film. Despite setbacks like the cancellation of the Silk Spider Society series, Sony's commitment to expanding its Spider-Man universe remains strong, with exciting projects on the horizon. We'll talk more about them in a bit, so stick around till the end. Avengers Doomsday, May 1st, 2026. Now back to Marvel Cinematic Universe where it was revealed that Robert Downey Jr., known for his role as Iron Man, will be playing Doctor Doom in the MCU. This is huge news, especially since Downey has been absent from the franchise since Tony Stark's death in Avengers Endgame. It's likely that Doctor Doom's storyline will continue in Avengers Secret Wars. The Russo brothers will be returning to direct both Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars, as confirmed at Comic-Con. Given their successful work on Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, their involvement is exciting news for the franchise raising hopes for another blockbuster chapter in the MCU. Avengers Secret Wars Don't worry, while Avengers Doomsday is the only MCU movie confirmed for 2026 right now, there will definitely be more releases that year. For now though, Doomsday is the only film officially on the schedule. Secret Wars was originally set to wrap up the MCU's multiverse saga in 2025, but has been pushed to May 7th, 2027. 
Drawing inspiration from the 1984 and 2015 Secret Wars events in Marvel Comics, the film is expected to feature an incursion that could threaten to dismantle the MCU, potentially reshaping the franchise's future. Most of Earth's mightiest heroes are expected to be involved in the fight, with rumors suggesting appearances from various past Marvel characters across different franchises. While there's no director attached yet, Loki head writer Michael Waldron is working on the screenplay. Since Doctor Doom plays a major role in both the 84, 85, and 20 2015 Secret Wars comic storylines, it's likely that Avengers Doomsday will set up his story for Avengers Secret Wars. With the Russo brothers directing both films, we might see a two-part epic similar to Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, expanding Doom's storyline across both movies. Armor Wars, released 8 TDBD originally planned as a Disney Plus TV series, Armor Wars was reworked into a feature film in September 2022, making it the first solo film for Don Cheadle's James Rhodey Rhodes, aka War Machine. While an official synopsis hasn't been released, the film is expected to follow War Machine as he recovers stolen Stark tech from around the globe while grappling with his grief following Iron Man's death in Avengers Endgame. The movie will likely feature appearances and cameos from other tech-powered heroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and will continue Rhodey's story from his role in 2023's Secret Invasion. There were rumors that Walton Goggins would reprise his role from Ant-Man and the Wasp, but those rumors have since been debunked. Spider-Man 4 share and new MCU trilogy released 8 TB. Spider-Man 4 was officially confirmed to be in development in February 2023. While specific details are still scarce, the film is expected to explore Spider-Man's journey as he re-establishes himself as a hero following the memory wipe spell cast by Doctor Strange at the end of Spider-No Way Home. The post credit scene of No Way Home left a piece of the Venom symbiote in the MCU after Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock was transported back to Sony's Spider-Man universe. As a result, Spider-Man 4 may feature Peter Parker grappling with the black symbiote suit. Additionally, Peter will likely face the challenge of reconnecting with his friends and girlfriend who no longer remember him due to the spell. Shang-Chi 2 in December 2021, Marvel Studios confirmed the development of a sequel to Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Destin Daniel Cretton, who directed the first film, will return to both write and direct the sequel as revealed by star Simu Liu. It's anticipated that Aquafina will reprise her role as Katie Chen alongside him. The original Shang-Chi left several plot threads unresolved, including the origins of the titular rings and the future of the Ten Rings organization under new leadership. The sequel is expected to address these questions and continue the tradition of impressive fight choreography, blending modern techniques with nods to classic wirefighting films. El Muerto released ATVD part of Sony's live-action Spider-Man universe. El Muerto was initially scheduled for release on January 12, 2024, marking the first of three planned releases for Sony's Spider-Man universe in 2024. However, the film's release date was later removed, leading to rumors of potential cancellation, though this has not been officially confirmed. In Marvel Comics, El Muerto is a wrestler with superhuman strength, a role slated for rapper Bad Bunny, who gained prominence for his performance in 2022's Bullet Train. Despite Gareth Dunnett Alcoker being hired to write the script, Bad Bunny reported in March 2023 that production had yet to start. Filming, initially scheduled to begin in August 2023, has not been confirmed as having started, and Bad Bunny exited the project in September 2023. Jackpot, released 8TBE, part of Sony's live-action Spider-Man universe, Jackpot was announced in 2020, with Mark Guggenheim working on the screenplay. In Marvel Comics, the Jackpot identity is used by two characters, Sarah Arrett, a scientist at an Oscorp subsidiary whose DNA is altered by a volatile virus, and Alana Jobson, who gains her powers through mutant growth hormone. Both characters have tragic narratives that explore themes of power and responsibility, offering potential for compelling on-screen adaptations. <laughs> Hypno Hustler Release date TBD, part of Sony's live-action Spider-Man universe, Donald Glover announced in December 2022 that he would produce and star in a film centered on Hypno Hustler, a lesser-known Spider-Man villain from Marvel Comics. Miles Murphy, Eddie Murphy's son, is set to write the script. Hypno Hustler, who uses a hypnotic guitar to control others, could be adapted in intriguing ways for the big screen. It remains to be seen if Glover's portrayal will connect to his previous roles as Aaron Davis in Spider-Homecoming and Spider-Man across 
across the Spider-Verse. Additionally, Amy Pascal confirmed the development of a Spider-Woman movie and a live-action Miles Morales film, though specific details about these projects have not been released. In addition to the upcoming movies, Marvel Television and Marvel Animation have several announced TV projects, with some already set for release. Marvel plans to drop two TV shows a year, though three more projects are slated to premiere before the end of 2024. Agatha All Along was released on September 18th, 2024. Daredevil Born Again will hit screens in March 2025, followed by Ironheart, also slated for 2025. Beside this, Wonder Man has finished filming but doesn't have a release date yet. Vision Quest, a Nova series, and an untitled Marvel Wakanda series are all in development, but no release dates have been announced for these projects. As for animation, at the D23 2024 Marvel Animation panel, fans got a sneak peek at what's coming. X-Men 97 Season 2, the follow-up to the beloved 90s X-Men The Animated Series. Disney Plus hasn't announced a premiere date yet, but excitement is through the roof. The season 1 finale left us hanging, and the new footage has only fueled the anticipation. The mutants are now rocking some stylish new outfits inspired by Grant Morrison's X-Men comics. Get the old spandex suits. These sleek black leather looks say we mean business. The preview also introduces new characters like Danger, the danger room that's become sentient and definitely not happy about it. Danger looks like she's set to challenge the X-Men in a big way. Polaris, Magneto's daughter with the green hair, is back and showing off her metal manipulating powers. She's clearly got more than just her dad's hair color. The footage also hints at new villains like Lady Deathstrike and Sabretooth, with a brief glimpse of Nightcrawler in Japanese attire, suggesting the X-Men might be heading to Japan. But X-Men 97 isn't the only Marvel project making waves. At the panel, we also got a look at your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, featuring a unique twist. Peter Parker is being mentored by Norman Osborn, played by Coleman Domingo. With Norman's less-than-stellar mentor history, this new dynamic should be interesting. The animation style is comic book inspired, with cell animation and shots split into comic panels, which should be pretty cool to see. At the Marvel Animation panel, Brad Winterbaum gave fans a sneak peek at the lineup for the next two years, highlighting the final season of What If? and and Eyes of Wakanda. The panel featured Brian Andrews, the director and executive producer of What If? and Marvel Zombies, and Todd Harris, the director and executive producer of Eyes of Wakanda. Ryan Coogler, director of Black Panther and producer of Eyes of Wakanda was also present. The panel wrapped up with an exciting surprise look at the upcoming Marvel Zombies series. I think that's all. Let me know if I missed something from Marvel Animation or anything else in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.